All right, deeper and deeper into the entertainment district arc we go. This episode is called What Are You? I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode 3 or 10 of Demon Slayer Season 2, however you view it. Last episode, we had Tengen instructing our newly disguised Demon Slayers as infiltration experts to see if we can find out information on Tengen's three wives who have already infiltrated and supposedly got a lot of information on who the possible upper moon is hiding amongst this red light district and the only one who has gotten super close tandiro is getting some info on one of them i forget her name but inosuke who's just heard some info is supposedly just down the hall from makio who might be being tortured from this upper moon so i'm very curious how inosuke is going to act is he going to get is he going to call for backup is he going to try to take it out on its own this episode is called what are you is he just going to get fucked i have no idea i'm super excited I'm curious what's going to happen this season, who's going to die, what the major plot twists are going to be, the major lore info we're going to, I'm just so ready for it, so excited, I say we hop into it. Don't forget with this show and all the other shows I'm watching, on Patreon we have early access and full length, which is four episodes ahead, not for this show obviously because it's a live show, but every other show, make sure to go check that out in the description down below. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment on this video, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated you guys. Let's hop into this. Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaiba season 2 episode 3 or episode 10 what are you let's do this so this is definitely a flashback of maybe when the upper moon first arrived here and so it's confirmed that she is a courtesan And that lady who rightfully went to confront her is now dead. Yes, she is. She's gone. Which I can't necessarily say dead because they're mentioning vanished a lot. And as you can see, it was half a second. Now she's gone. No blood, no this, that, and the other. Very curious where she got taken. Maybe it is possible we can get some of these people back. Episode 3, What Are You? I gotta say, I'm really liking the opening so far. I usually skip it on the videos because of copyright, but I'm really enjoying it. Tell me why this would probably be me if I ever went to a red light or an entertainment district. I would, <laughs> that would probably be me. I love the 3D models. I love the cinematography. Oh, that transition was clean. I was, he's literally right there. Yeah, she fell, right? That's what those two girls were talking about. Oh my god. It's been a minute since we've heard Zenitsu with the, with the good ears. Here's a female crying. That's that's his cue to help. Yep. <laughs> Theoretically, she could rip this demon could rip you apart. This is horrible. All the organs in your body. Oh no. What are you gonna do, Inosuke? Yep. Come on. That's not Inosuke style. We're a run in brazen type of dude. Ooh, no trace. I mean, I can't say no trace. Obviously, there's a trace, but they're gone. <laughs> Ooh, I love the first person POV shots. I'm telling you, the cinematography in the show is always top notch. I feel so bad for that dude who just got clobbered, though. Oh, did she get struck? I know. What happened? That's her. You could tell by the like the three hair things that are down here. That's the demon, right? I don't know if that's the demon, but that could be an underling or a subordinate of our upper moon. I mean, that is true. You didn't detect her at all until she was right there. Maybe it is. Uh... Waha, oh, damn, I didn't get her name. 
言ってたんだけどうるさいじゃあじゃないよ部屋を片付けな Not only is she being picked up, she's literally being lifted by her ear. Oh my god! Yeah! Shouts out to Zenny, too. That was needed, man. There's no way you're picking up a girl by her ear. You can see the seam starting to rip in her ear. Oh my god! Oh no! No, no, no. <laughs> Already, <laughs> bro. If I hire anyone in my life, I'm hiring Tanjiro. Got her fresh tea. Oh my god, this man is a menace. <laughs> what is he chalking the sliding area? I didn't even know that was a thing to make it more like putting WD 40 on something that's you know. Oh, you can tell by her scarf. And literally, the thing around her kimono is what she was using to rack up, wrap up Makio and attack Inosuke. That's literally, this is her. This is... I just had to make sure. I wasn't convinced, you know? Two days before? Oh. This is the lady... But this is the leader of this house who supposedly ju fell, right? And died? So I'm assuming it was Warabahime who killed her. Old ladies from tea houses always tell great stories. And oh, really? And this was from the tea lady from when she was a kid. So this was like a fucking century ago, damn near. Oh, okay. I respect it. You brought the knife. Like, you think you're doing something. You thought you ate that up, but... And she is dangling above. This is where she fell to her death. I respect this lady. She stuck with her gut, you know. Went to do her thing, but it did result in her death. Oh, my God. Why does she have to look so damn good for a demon, though? Upper six. So she's top six. Barely in the upper six. Okay. That's exactly how she fell, too. That's crazy. Is this going to be one of the only and rare times Muzan congratulates one of his subordinates? Daki, is that her true name? Mm, he's gassing her up. She feels hype right now. Seven? She is super strong. She's disposed of seven Hashira. Cut to the present tense when she backhands the actual fuck out of Zenitsu. And that would have killed your average person. That's a demon slayer for sure. Damn. She can distinguish that. Nah, you ain't killing these demon slayers. These gonna be the only ones you ain't eating. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see her get her head chopped off. The demons come out to play. Don't tell me that's where it's ending. No. Nah, right? Nah, we got time. Nah, yes. Okay, good. Seems that we have an after credit scene. They all like <laughs> Zenitsu now after he stood up for them and... Any what would? Any man? I mean, not that I'm a man, but that's just that's what any human. Yeah, yeah, man, human. No difference. Yeah, yeah. You just made yourself three new little friends, then you two. So, 
that was a great episode still more setup which uh, i need to get some i need to get some of that juicy juicy demon slayer action i need one solid good fight and i'll just be like i'll be calm you know like i just need one give me one next episode now that zenitsu now with that cliffhanger i should say hopefully zenitsu is all right but we learned that i loved that story from the lady she was i do agree with um daki or warabihime that she was smarter off like if you or 90 if you if you're in your head like if you're above a 65 percent sure that this person is a demon and can kill people and live for a very long time if you're above 65 percent on that i'm like maybe i should keep it to myself maybe i shouldn't go about this with a knife you know i don't you know i respect her though she's like this is an issue and she has to take care of it she got to get this shit done but she is now dead so r.i.p to the madam of that house uh but it's interesting the story though that her uh, an old lady at the tea shop told her when she was a child so yes this has been a very long time this has been going on um about oirans who use the last name of hime and who are just cruel and crazy and it makes sense that she's been here a long time if she's killed seven hashira obviously they're not all from the same generation because if they had a thing where it's like oh seven recent hashira died that's all send all you know like they would deal with that so if it's just like We've had occasional people missing, go missing, so we send a Hashira every once in a while over here, and they end up, ugh, that's, damn, seven Hashira? That's crazy. So, Warabihime is the name she goes by to fit this Oiran like story, but her actual demon name, I assume, is Daki, because that's what Master Muzan called her, where she just seemed to be infatuated by Muzan as soon as he was in there, which makes sense all the demons are. It's just, he was praising her, which is like the only time we've ever heard him praise anyone damn near. It's actually crazy, and she's loving that, and she wants to just consume more and more de uh, humans. I don't know why I almost said demons, but I, I do like what Muzan was saying. Like, a, a Hashira, anyone with the skills of a, you know, like a decent demon slayer, anyone above, like, whatever the lowest rank in a demon slayer is going to be is going to be able to tell us apart from a normal person right away you can tell demon you can tell person but when it comes to the opposite side us demons like yes we can tell a hashira right away because it's a hashira but any other demon slayer they just look like a normal human like we can't really distinct them between distinguish them between each other so it's like that's a very interesting concept that i that i didn't really realize and so it took daki literally punching zenitsu and really hey you know like that's not a normal person like that's a demon slayer so it's interesting on that note. Very curious. Thoroughly enjoyed this episode though. Quite the cliffhanger. If you guys did as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I am super excited for the season. Don't forget to check out the Patreon if you guys want early access to the other shows, but full length to this show as well. Check that out. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace.